Aquarius and welcome to this bonus reading. So since you guys came through for me this week, you were one of the most viewed on the channel. So I thought I would give you a bonus reading. Okay, so thank you for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe and like the video. This is going to be a timeless message. We'll see what you need to hear right now. So I'm going to start by picking the energy supporting you right now, Aquarius. What do we need to know for Aquarius? Okay, two cards here. So we have the Ace of Swords and the Queen of Swords. You are standing in your power, Aquarius. This is fabulous energy. This is right up your alley. So there's definitely some type of truth coming out, some type of really impactful conversation that could be happening between you uh, and someone. I feel like there's going to be a lot of clarity coming in. You want the truth. You want honesty. You're definitely focused on that, but you're still bringing love into the situation with the Queen of Cups. So this could be about love. This could be about something you love or someone you love. We'll see what the Tarot has to say, but this is just such a perfect fit for you. Um, I love that. Let's see what the Tarot has to say about that. Okay, already the cards are coming out. The Tower, the Page of Swords and the World. Okay. You're definitely about to find out some type of truth, some type of revelation that will come to you. I think it's going to help you close some type of chapter. Um, this is something big. This is something that could impact your life forever. Um, with the world card, you're, you're freeing yourself from something, freeing yourself from something that has been following you for a while energetically. And I really like that. The tower is just a confirmation that this is a life-changing event. Things are never going to be the same. The world, page of swords. Uh, I do feel again like there's a message coming in. And I feel like it takes a lot to shock an Aquarius. You guys are always open to the truth. I definitely um, love that about you guys. You can have a really serious conversation with an Aquarius and you guys know how to utilize that and either change something about you for the best or change your perspective. There's always a um, place for you to open your mind even more. I love that. I'm really excited for this energy here. Tell me more for Aquarius. You could definitely be going through some type of major life event uh, in the next month. Page of Pentacles, the Sun, the Eight of Swords. So this is something that can create some anxiety because it is a big step. I don't know if you're changing work, if you're thinking about maybe buying a house, putting money aside for a house. You made a decision to get to the next level of something. And I feel like good news are coming your way. Um, I, I can't overlook that there is love in that situation because to me, the sun, it's the heart space. Um, the tower can be a really powerful sexual energy. So again, there could be someone telling you that they have a crush on you. There could be someone coming back to apologize about something. I don't know exactly what it is, um, but there's going to be a life changing conversation happening. And I feel it's going to be happening around April, May, June, something like that. It feels big. It feels like it's someone, you know, like you deeply, deeply know them. But there is something coming in here, but I feel like every aspect of your life might be changing. Work, living situation, the relationship part of your life also. It feels like everything is leading you towards this sun energy, which I'd like to see, of course. Knight of Wands. Give me one more. Knight of Wands, Four of Cups, and the Six of Wands. You're winning, Aquarius. You are winning and you are not available for anyone's bullshit. 
You don't have time to play games. You don't have time for drama. You're choosing to distance yourself from some type of drama. You're moving forward with your life. So there could be some type of final conversation with someone. It helps you realize that this is definitely over with the world card. There's some type of chapter that is ending. It could be someone... Um, that you feel that you need to cut ties with, uh, with the Queen of Sword. It feels like you survive this relationship with them. Knight of Wands and Six of Wands. There's a lot of intensity. You're moving forward. There's definitely nothing blocking you. There could be a little bit of anxiety with the Eight of Swords. Anything that feels like a blockage is in your head. It's definitely in your head because you have everything you need. And again, I love to see the Four of Cups. You are not available for BS. It just doesn't work. If someone tried to lie to you, if someone tries to manipulate you, it's not going to work because you're not going to be letting them do that. I think that you're definitely aware of maybe games that someone played. It could be at work. It could be in a relationship. But at one point, I feel like it definitely impacted your stability. Let's take another deck and start clarifying. I want to know what the world is about. Tell me what the world is about here. I keep hearing the truth. Hearing the truth is something. I don't know if you've been waiting on some type of truth. Seven of Cups. So... You've been considering ending this situation for a while, cutting ties, moving on. You've been definitely thinking about it, but I think that you wanted to know everything before making an official move, before cutting ties completely. Um, I think that you've been patient, you've been considerate, definitely, and there's some type of mixed feelings here. A part of you uh, has memories with either this person or from this thing that you're going to be cutting ties with. I think that you're doing that for your greater good. You're definitely listening to what your soul wants and stepping out of anything that could be superficial or materialistic. It feels good. Um, it, again... I feel like you have so much more options than just this person or this situation. It's like, I deserve more and I'm going to go for more. Really interesting reading. Tell me more about the Eight of Swords. What is making you anxious? What is this mental blockage here? King of Swords. Okay, so you definitely have history with this person. At one point, there was a power couple. There was two people in a commitment. The thing is that there were so many things up in the air. There were so many things that this person was just saying and never acting on it. And I think at one point, you were like, uh, okay, you're just saying things to make me happy. This is just make-believe. I think that the relationship never got to the level of you know, trust, real trust, being comfortable, being like, I have no worries with this person. There was always a little worry with them. I don't know what it is. I don't know if this is someone who's been unfaithful or if it's a work situation, a boss that just never paid you right or never, you know, they took you for granted. I feel like there's someone who took you for granted. Two of pentacles came out of the deck. There's definitely powerful change. You could be relocating. You could be traveling, thinking about traveling. There's definitely conversation about that. There's definitely some planning of making a big move. It doesn't have to be about traveling, but there's movement happening in your life. Powerful change when it comes to your stability. And it's all for the best. We have the sun here as center energy. This is all happening for the best. And I think that you're keeping your head up, you're pushing through fear, and you're definitely cutting off the haters. And that's what I like about this reading. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. You've been putting in the work and the universe is like, I'm going to help you a little bit. I'm going to push a little bit for you. You definitely feel that there's something bigger, something, something powerful around you protecting you. This is interesting. 
Tell me more. The Wheel of Fortune on top of the tower is so powerful. It's like knowing for a fact that this thing that once felt, felt so heavy, so painful, happened for you. And now you realize it wasn't a curse. It was actually a blessing. You learned so much about yourself. You definitely learned a lot about yourself and you matured a lot. Yeah, devil in the reverse. So again, you're cutting ties with the toxicity. You are choosing to do what's right for you, what's right for your family or for the people around you. I don't know. It feels like you're, you're not only healing yourself, healing your inner child. There is some beautiful acceptance here. Like, this is no joke. I think that at one point, this took so much space in your life. It was definitely overwhelming. And seeing the devil in the reverse, it's like, it was no fun. Because I associate this card with pleasure, fun. Um, I think that you, you're doing the right thing. You're making the right decision. This is a lot about a decision that you had to make. And I don't feel like it's pleasing everyone. You had to definitely distance yourself from anyone's opinion at one point because you're like, well, you're not in my shoes. You don't know what I'm going through on a daily basis. But there was a higher level of commitment and it didn't work like you, like you thought it would. Hmm. You had to be strategic. You had to be strategic even if you felt a lot of love for someone or something. We have the star. Wow. This is your energy, Aquarius. This is powerful. Again, there's something about you healing yourself, healing your inner child, uh, being in this acceptance energy. It's not easy. It's not easy to choose that, to choose um, the soul, what the soul wants. The decision you made was so hard. And I feel like a lot of people wouldn't have the courage to do what you did. Or what you're doing right now. Um, beautiful, beautiful energy with the star. This feels really powerful. The sun, the star, the six of wands, wheel of fortune, the world card. This is something that confirms that your life will never be the same. That you're moving towards happiness. Redefining happiness. Like what is happiness for you? Again, if the people around you are not necessarily happy. Or not necessarily comfortable with the choices you're making. But it's none of their business. And that's what I like about this reading. You're taking your power back. Like, it's it's not my problem if you're not happy with the decision I'm making. Let's take a message from the universe. I want a clear message from the universe for Aquarius. What do we have here? Aquarius. Two cars wanting to come out. So we have the Ten of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles. So again, another ending. It is not your problem if people are not comfortable with your choices. When people think their opinion of your life, of you, you are getting rid of that. Maybe once it affected you, you know, you're a human being. Even if you're powerful, you're keeping your head up, you're strong, courageous, you know, you're a human being. So I think that people's opinion at one point affected you deeply. You never let that get in your way, though. You never let that stop you. With the Seven of Pentacles, you've been really patient. You probably give chances after chances after chances. It's not like you woke up one morning and you were like, I'm done. You definitely took time to check in. You tr did your best in a situation. You worked hard and you pushed through fear time and time and time after time. So beautiful. There's an ending here, but I definitely feel like your perspective of this ending is more like a beginning. Um, and I don't know why I feel intuitively like this summer is going to be definitely impactful for you. Maybe because I see the sun here uh, as center energy. There's this feeling of when the sun comes out, 
uh, when the season change, I'm definitely going to be released energetically. So I don't know if you have some type of paper to sign, if you have some legal things to deal with. Um, I'm hearing it's going to be official in the summer. I don't know why I'm hearing that again. This is channeling energy. So let me pick an Oracle card for you. What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Aquarius? I'm hearing, I'm making this official. I am free. My intuition is uh, all over the place right now. Aquarius, segment courage through and shadow work. So it fits beautifully with this. This is you being courageous, choosing honesty, choosing the truth. Truth. Why do I say truth? Um, I'm French, so sometimes, you know, guys, shadow work. So there's definitely something here that you had to face. It wasn't easy. I think that also other people's mistake or behavior could have impacted your life uh, tremendously. At one point, you had so much love for this person or this situation. I don't know what it is. Again, it's not everybody who connects with the love message because this could definitely be about you quitting a long time job, relocating, selling something. Uh, I don't know. Give me one more. Spells and a ritual bring magic and self-care together. So you've been choosing yourself. And I think that this was the best thing you could have ever done. Again, we're not doing anything right now to please other people. We have to choose ourselves more than ever. You are highly intuitive and powerful. And I think that you've been manifesting this new beginning for a while now. You've been definitely... Uh, fantasizing about a new life, you know, daydreaming about this new life, and you're finally getting it. I think that, again, this could be happening in a couple months, couple weeks. I don't know exactly the time frame. I feel like you are in the transition right now. You could still be in the energy of thinking about making this big move, this big change. You're definitely definitely on the right path and making the good decision if you've been waiting for a sign to make a big move this is definitely your sign bloom even if no one is watching you are not doing this to please other people you're doing that for yourself you know to get your power back because you're a fighter you're a survivor and again you want the truth you want the best for yourself and you're never going to be settling for less you probably did in the past, and that's why the Queen of Swords is here. This is a survivor energy. Um, I made a mistake, maybe surrounding myself by people that didn't deserve me at all. And I feel like now you're finally cutting ties with that energy. And it's not easy. Again, it, take, it takes a lot of courage to do what you're doing. And you should be proud of yourself, okay? Thank you so much for listening. This was just a little quick uh, bonus reading. I hope that it finds you well. I can't wait to do the April readings. They're going to be out really soon, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Okay, Aquarius, take care and see you soon. Bye-bye.